All right, now for a more sophisticated lift and groove, I'm using our other part, and you know it's already looking like it's going to work on this one. So you know I select the top part or bottom part, even though these aren't together. The fact of the matter is it'll still do it. I selected the top plane, and I selected this just this face and with tangency propagation on. <clears throat> now I'm going to go do the same thing again with tangency propagation on. Uh, it may work without it. I, I don't know. No. Come on, damn it. Hmm. can't seem to select the damn face of the lip, so maybe it won't work if they're separated. <clears throat> okay, I couldn't tell, but I was actually trying to select through the bottom. I couldn't tell, but I was looking at the bottom. Okay, that's the face we're looking at. <clears throat> and I guess it didn't matter if tangent propagation was selected. It looks like it got the whole thing. So I can go here and select this edge and go uh, select tangency. <clears throat> And it's using the same settings down here from a previous deal, and I already changed the length from four millimeters to three millimeters because it's kind of cutting it apart a little close. <coughs> but yeah, anyway, that looks uh, good. I'm gonna left leave the reveal the same as we had it. Okay. Um, let's see if it's gonna do its job here. Yep. Looks like it did it. pretty slick. Now if I go suppress this, uh, I don't know, that move thing, wherever the hell that was. Jeez, uh, I don't know when I did that. Oh, here probably. Um, <coughs> let me, I'll, I'll show you the section view was done. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, and here's what here's what the result was. So looks nice and proper. Although we could have used maybe a gap between this, <clears throat> you know, so that you know that's that's a little tight. You know, that that's going to be a problem. Um, uh, let's see. Edit it. Uh, yeah, here's the. <laughs> forgot that I was recording. I'll put a hundred mil, or not hundred mil, but a 0.1 millimeter gap, four mil gap between it. That's not going to be enough, so I wouldn't feel comfortable with that in practice. <clears throat> All right, now you can see the gap I created. This gap's not particularly important. That'll be limited by you know, just how deep the parts are, but, um, you know, good practice to put a gap there, though, uh, if you're after this reveal being, you know, what it is, um, but at any rate, you know, that's our finished object, you know, with a reveal line in it, so, it's pretty slick, so let me go unsuppress that, uh, thing up here, <coughs> So, you running your stopwatch? See how long this fucking thing takes? Okay. There we go. So, it's pretty slick. 